today we are going to play Gondor the White City against Seven Heart Armies on the beautiful map Old Brownlands in Battle for Middle of One on the patch 2.22 and we will be camping quite a lot with trebuchet and towers until we collect enough power points we will only recruit Gandalf as a hero no other unit no other hero and then we will be able to defeat Seven Heart Armies let's go With the Rohan music in the background, we are going to play Gondor. Oh my goodness. So basically, let's build only uh, blacksmiths. Because they will give us the steel bonus, which is going to be needed to decrease the cost of the trebuchet later on. And early on, we will also need to recruit Peregrine Took, aka Pippin, of course, to capture those settlements outside of the castle. This one and this one. Because we will need money and a lot of money. So Gondor is the strongest faction when it comes to have like a strong defense. Like a very tanky walls and also towers which can hit like an absolute truck. And we will abuse that. We will use the advantage of the strong defense and durability of the White City Gondor in Battle for Middle of One. And also the patch 2.22 version 1.1 is almost finished. It's going to be released hopefully this friday so stay tuned guys of course the second it's going to be available i will let you know trust me on that one so let's creep the goblin there with hobbit and uh, you know that's better than attacking with him so this way we can also get additional resources from the goblin layer which is always quite nice before we however make the transition into the stormwalker and also into the siege works from the gondor faction we also need to make sure to build the marketplace because one of the changes we have implemented into the patch 2.22 is that you don't need to keep the marketplace anymore inside your castle in order to be able to keep the upgrades. That's a massive difference between BFME 1 and BFME 2. In BFME 2 or Rise of the Witch King, you need to make sure to keep all the buildings if you want to be able to, you know, make use of the upgrades. But in BFME 2, you have like unlimited spots. While in BFME 1, you are quite limited. You have like, you know, fixed spots and you are only able to use these spots for the entire game. Oh, we are cash floating quite a lot. So let me get all these blacksmiths first. And you see we have added informations now to every single building. As well as to every single hero. The recruit time and so on. Hey, Peregrine took. We also need to pick up the heal from the spellbook, which is going to lead us to the Gandalf the White PowerPoint later on. To make our Gandalf to the best hero in the game. And again, that kind of makes sense for the Gondor faction, because Gondor has only three heroes, you know, while Rohan has like seven. I mean, we have also four heroes with uh, Gondor when we include Peregrine Took, who is for sure efficient enough early game, but he's falling off big time late game. So one more blacksmith, and then we will be, hey, 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 that is the enemy. Okay, we see Urukai. Remember, this is no rival of mindless orcs, my dear subscribers to the YouTube channel. These are Urukai, with the Eye of Sauron actually sporting them, making them deal even greater damage. So marketplace first. After purchasing all the upgrades from the marketplace, we will be building the Stormworker. Stormworker got nerfed this patch, so the upgrade for the stronger towers will be costing 4,000 instead of 3,000. That's why we desperately need the upgrades. And you know what? We can also skip the Grand Harvest and go only for the Iron Ore. Because as we are talking right now, we have zero farms, you know? I mean, we have one single farm, but also this is going to be taken down very, very soon. So we are surrounded, as you can see until. But there is one trick if you want to defeat the hard armies in Battle for Middle of One. They don't make any siege weapons early on. So that means if you don't kill any of the units, they won't be able to get any siege weapons. So, and that's the plan. We are not allowed to kill any of the units just yet until we are ready, you know, to, to be able to defend ourselves with trebuchet and towers all alone. Hold on a second. Let's get this and this. So 45 seconds for the Iron Ore and 45 seconds for the Siege Materials. Once again, we can skip the Grand Harvest at least for now. Because we have no farms. And again, you don't need to keep this building anymore inside your castle in order to be able to keep the upgrades you have purchased on this structure. We have a lot of Isengard openings now. Look at that. We see Mordor, Uruks everywhere. 
Haradrims now. More the orcs coming in clutch as well. He's surrounding us from this area. We see also Rohirrim from Rohan and Gondor Tower Guards. That means literally every single faction is included. We have now Iron Ore, which is pretty nice. That's going to give us more money over time. And again, it's very efficient. The longer the game goes on, the more value we will get from the upgrade from the marketplace. Before we save for Gandalf, however, we need to make sure to purchase all the upgrades from the uh, seat. Uh, Stoneworker as well. And then it's time to build some trebuchet. And again, all that stuff has to happen before we kill any of these units because we are not ready yet, as you can see and tell. We have 0 out of 120 available command points, so we are not ready by all means to face any siege weapons yet. However, Gondor has the best summons in the entire game. So with that, I'm talking about the Elven allies. I'm talking about the Rohan allies. I'm talking about the Eagle allies. And of course, the army of the dead. So these four summons and our legendary hero Gandalf. Hey, he was revealing our Hobbit with the Eye of Sauron. Look at that. Look, a full army just for my Hobbit Peregrine took. Are you kidding me? <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, you got me this time. You got me. Look, we are surrounded, boys. But that's also... a good thing because we will kill them at some point right with the massive amount of trebuchet plus the towers we will you know we will be building around the wall we should be able to kill them in no time gondo towers are untargetable for anything else but siege weapons and trolls and movement kills so that means normal units like uruks or you know crossbowmen rohirrim orcs they cannot target or take down our structures that's not possible you see 4000 this is used to cost only 3000 but you know Camping should be a little bit harder. They have also 45 seconds build time for each. So we need to now chill for 135 seconds. That's a little bit more than 2 minutes. 2 minutes and 15. Quick math, by the way. And after getting all the upgrades purchased, we will be building up the legendary Siege Works. And the placement is very important, so we need to be a little bit annoying. And playing against such a Gondor in multiplayer is very triggering. So what we're going to do is place those trebuchet in between the buildings. And then build full towers around the castle. Because as you can see, there is Mordor. So if you have no towers, that means nothing that can shoot down the Nazgûl later on. The Nazgûl can just come in and take down every single trebuchet one by one. And we don't want that to happen. Trust me on that one. So battle tower, keep archers, purchase. That is scary, my dude. That is scary. As Gimli would like to say, they are coming. We have some wolves behind too. Actually kind of insane how much details you are able to catch if you are doing literally nothing else but sit in your base and wait for the upgrades to be purchased. <laughs> All right. And please guys, please guys let me know in the comment section down below which of the four factions in Battle for Middle of One is your most favorite, Gondor, Rohan, Isengard or Mordor. I'm curious. I like personally Gondor a lot and the reason is simple, because of Gandalf. Gandalf, look at this shining bright like a diamond wall with like 8,300 hit points. This one is 3,000. It will have around... That's not cool, Nazgul. I think we need to get Gandalf. I don't want to... Or we build a tower or something. I don't know. We need to take... An, oh my goodness. We need to build towers. That's the thing, you know. That's what I'm talking about. Like, at some point, he will send multiple Nazgûls to us. It looks like we will be losing our Citadel boys. Bad news. Well, well, well. So now we need to uh, rebuild it and bait them into coming here. Please kill this again. Let's cancel it so we, we, we don't lose 1,000 resources. And bait them into running into the towers. Okay, that's the plan. He's annoying. And uh, the good faction structures... Oh, cancel. Did I cancel? I think I canceled. Yeah, that's why I was able to get money back. Okay, the Nazgul has been taken down. Now is the time to replace the Citadel. And imagine if you would have like siege weapons now. That's why Mortar is a bit tricky and we are not getting away with recruiting trebuchet only. The Citadel is like the heart of your outpost, camp and of course the castle. Without that, you are not able to build anything. And the same effect or similar effect also exists in BFME 2. You are able to build when your fortress is down. However, 
you are not able to use your powerpoints and you know i know powerpoints in lead game are essential and very important talking about powerpoints we have one powerpoint collected only after killing two nazgul so we will definitely need more than that in order to be able to unlock everything so everything purchased from the stone worker everything purchased from the marketplace right so now is the time for the siege works so basically from now on we will be spamming nothing else but trebuchet it means 120 out of, out of you know of our available command points are going to be filled with trebuchet exclusively this ladies and gentlemen is the plan because now the worst thing that we can do is kill those units because we are not ready yet to defend ourselves against something like ballistas or mortar catapults And the problem is, even though the towers are extremely efficient against heroes and against units, they are not efficient enough against siege weapons. The new, workshop is ready. new workshop is ready! Spam, spam, spam. And now you have even the, you know, do you see that? 40 seconds, 30 seconds, 20 seconds, depends on the level of your structure. You will have always the information of the build speed or recruit speed in this case of every single unit. I'm actually worried about killing those units right now. But I don't want to demolish them tower either because we are investing 800 into buying it. If we demolish it, we will only get 400 something back. So it's not worth it. At least money wise. So look at this, boys. Uruks everywhere. I believe we have many, many Isengards. We see Mordor also and also Gondor and Rohan. It means we have at least one Gondor. Okay, dance around the Rosie, please. Don't get anything just yet. We need to get Firestone upgrade purchase first. Let's get Gandalf. We are almost there for a Gandalf, the white powerpoint. Remember, Gandalf is also able to get mounted now on his Shadow Facts when he's Gandalf the Grey. But he's still going to be almost useless when he is not white. And you see, there comes the Nazgul, boys. Please kill this. So let's dance around to Rosie. Don't attack, don't attack, don't attack, don't attack. Just wait. You should be able to kill the Nazgul now with, you know, the Zita is shooting. That's the only Zita in the game, by the way. This is the Gonda one, which can also shoot. I am a servant of the secret fire. I'm a servant of the secret fire. So that's how it looks like when you get, you can also get him mounted. But you can see, Easter Light is not available when you are only Gandalf the Grey. For that reason, we need to turn him into the Gandalf the White. Which also changes his icon and also his picture in the Palantir. All right, so wait a second. We also need to purchase Firestone. Now we have three Trebuchet, but that's not enough. As you can see and tell, uh, Trebuchet from Gondor, they used to cost only five command points. Now they cost 10. Because um, we don't want anybody to spam lots of Trebuchet, Kappa Kipo, as we are doing the same thing, but we are playing against AI. In multiplayer games, it's kind of very triggering and super annoying to play against. But also, we increase the command points from the good factions from 200 to 250 and from the evil factions from 400 to 500. Are you out of your mind, Nazgul? Die. Oh, what? Did he actually kill all our trebuchet? How? Did you guys see that? Maybe we were close enough to the Zita because Nazgul is like a splash damage. He's able to hit mult. What? I'm still very confused, by the way. That's a lot of money we just lost. Like over 2,000. We just lost for nothing. That hurts. That really hurts. Okay, now it's time for building towers, boys. One, two. Because we now, we now need tower points, right? And I know the siege weapons are going to come very soon, but it's fine. We will still need... And those Nazgûls are very, very annoying. And all of a sudden, we are broke. <laughs> But now you will see the power points are rising to the sky. Like the AI doesn't know that they need to disengage. They will stay here and feed us with additional power points all the time. And the good thing about this strategy is, as we have almost no units to feed, beside the summons of the spellbook and Gandalf, which we hopefully won't lose, uh, the AI will also not get the power points he needs to summon the army of the dead or the Balrog himself. So we don't need to be worried at all. We also don't need to purchase any upgrades because we won't recruit any units but only trebuchet the only upgrade we need is the firestone and this one is already purchased you see the power points are literally rising to the sky so now we have elven allies heal gandalf the white 
and almost the Rohirama lies now. Boom, there we go. The power points are literally rising. We don't need to do anything, you know? Towers are doing the job for us. We will need more of them. Now it's going to be kind of tough to destroy a full castle with power points exclusively because level 3 structures are very, very beefy and tanky. For that reason, we will definitely need to Rohan allies. The, the elves are not bad to take down the Nazgûls or monsters. Talking about the monsters and Nazgûls, kill him, Gandalf. Oh, now you see the Witch King is here, the Witch King of Ingmar. Screech all you want, my friend. There is nothing you can fear because there are no units on the field. Die, fell beast. The Witch King against Gandalf, but Gandalf is victorious. However, he was able to kill two trebuchet, which is pretty annoying. And very, very soon, the opponent is also coming in clutch with... Like the, I mean, we have multiple mortal opponents. There is no other explanation to that. Like, the amount of Nazgûls they are able to send in just like that, very, very triggering. But we have almost the Eagle Summon. We need Army of the Dead. Without Army of the Dead, we cannot destroy a castle with Gandalf all alone. That's not possible. The way you want to do that is you want to use Army of the Dead first to make sure that they are tanking all the damage from the arrows. Army of the Dead is immune to that kind of damage. Another Witch King. Holy quackamole. Gandalf, it's your turn. Witch King of Engma is no more. And Gandalf just got level 7 from being not even mounted. That's crazy. Against Mordor, the War of Power is not very useful. We have 60. That means we have in total 6 trebuchet now. But it's not enough. We need more than that. So let's put them in between the buildings like mentioned before. And at some point, we will be opening the gate and making sure that we are also surrounding our castle outside with even more trebuchet. That, that is the plan, boys. So I will show you guys the base of Gondor. As you can see and tell, we have now in between every single structure one trebuchet. And every one of them has, you know, Firestone. You don't see the animation. That's one of the bugs of the HD edition for Battle for Middle Earth 1, which I'm using right now. And that's the reason why I'm also not using it in the multiplayer, because there are many, many missing things, you know, like the Firestone, for example, from the trebuchet. You don't see them in the unit, unlike in the normal edition, so... I believe we need to put like two more in the side like that and then we are good so now we can even open the gate that's how brave we are I like when you are getting mounted with Gandalf you know the shadow fake sound is always dope I mean with opening the gate I mean like just for Gandalf now we can close the gate again <laughs> this guy the, the, he can't wait until we are we're actually opening the gate. That's crazy. He is coming in clutch immediately. The dark fire will, will not avail you. Okay, we have now Eagle Summit. Hey, hey, hey. We killed our own Gandalf, by the way, guys. Did you see that? Oh, that's triggering, man. That's really, really triggering, boys. We killed our own Gandalf with the trebuchet. Unfortunately, you don't even get power points for that. <laughs> My bad, guys. Sorry. I was just watching the Nazgul and my Gandalf, who was full HP five seconds ago, got blown away. That's why I'm saying, like, in terms of tankiness, nobody can match with Aragorn. Aragorn is just the MVP. Okay, more trebuchet are required. Let's put them right here. And uh, right here. I don't know. The pressure is real. And we are command points kept, as you can see and tell. Luckily, no hero in the game costs command points. And... I lost Gandalf, of course, purposely. Let's be real. Just to show you guys the revive time. For I didn't lose Gandalf on purpose. I'm just lying. Revive the fallen hero Gandalf. Revive time when he's only for, you know, level 1, level 4. 2 minutes. The siege has begun now. We have also count for trebuchet. We have, actually, we have army of the dead. That's dope. So, ideally, Gondor should be the one we need to defeat first. The reason is simple, because Gondor AI is going to spam lots of trebuchet. But again, back to Gandalf, you see from 5 to 7, he's going to take 3 minutes. From 8 to 10, he's going to take 3 minutes and 30 seconds. And attack. now you might be asking, but why are you adding revive time level 1 to level 4? Because Gandalf is coming level 5. But in campaign, he's also level 1, so keep that please in mind. We wanted to just make sure that you have enough information about everything we can 
you know, kind of figured out from the coding of PFME 1. And I believe he did a good job, guys. I see you, Firestone. Um, it's fine. I don't want to waste any... Look how tanky the gate is. Do you see that? With the reinforced gates, it takes them ages to destroy that. That's how powerful that is. I believe we will need to just open the gate. Because I don't want to I, I don't want to demolish any of these towers for a post sun gate. Maybe we can do that actually from the one behind. Let's do that. Because this one is kind of useless. There is no opening coming from behind. So we can build a post. Oh, explosive mine! No! I think that's the enemy there. Repair it! Repair it! Fast, 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 fast! Repair it! The explosive mine, though! Gandalf is here. Get mounted, Gandalf. Don't kill the own Gandalf. You see? That's the problem. You see? You see, boys? Okay, just let, let's let them let them feed us. They can't, they can't defeat us here. We have too much damage power here. So let them feed us even more. We are building up the tra We need to attack now. We gotta attack somebody. I hope that this is Gondor. I really hope that this is Gondor. I believe he was having even more explosive mines coming now. As we lost another part. Or when the I'm also fine when this is Rohan, by the way. I don't mind that. I just wanna... Wait, let's use Cloud Break, which is now stronger to stun them. Let's repair this. Okay, that's more... You know what? I take it. I take it anyway. There is no Orcon. You see the sound effects? Let's use. Or you hear the sound effects? Sorry. Of course, you can see them. Alright, use Sword, please. There is kind of Lightning Sword. Did we actually miss it? Army of the Dead, please, please. We have not much time from with the Army of the Dead. Uh, Alright, let's kill everything. He has too many units around this area. We need to be extremely fast. Army of the Dead can maybe take care of these. We have all the power points unlocked. There is literally nothing else we can do. Let's not risk the biscuit with Gandalf again. Right click. In the meantime, take a look into the castle, shall we? Alright, please take care of the structures. Rohirrim. We have not much time left with Rohirrim either. Okay, just try to defeat this guy. Also, Gandalf, you are focusing down only the structures, please. Looks like Gondor and... I think they are coming to support their ally. We might not be able to finish this. We will not be able to finish this indeed. So we gotta peel back with Gandalf too. Okay. Guys, just finish off this. Gandalf, peel back. Peel back. Let's repair the gate, shall we? Okay, I'm, I, I'm sorry for saying shall we. That's always happening when I'm in panic. When something is getting out of control. Please attack the structures only. Haradrim Palace level 3 is beefy and tanky. All right, we need to keep defending ourselves. As more Rohirrim are coming, the gate is still not repaired. That's the problem we got. I'm also worried about being here actually with Gandalf the White. But our walls are being repaired. That's something. Explosive mine. Be careful! Don't, 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 don't. The auto attack is actually the explosive mines are such a counter, dude, to the trebuchet spam with the strong walls because they are dealing insane amount of damage. That's the problem, oh. Let's dodge. Don't don't get shot. One more time. Oh, sh dodge, 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 dodge. Don't attack, don't attack, don't attack, don't attack, don't attack. Don't attack, don't attack, don't attack. Oh! Oh my goodness, man. The explosive mines! Stop it! Oh, guys, that's, that's tilting. Oh my... They also lower, uh, increase the cooldown of Army of the Dead from 6 minutes up to 7 minutes. So I wish I wouldn't have done it. Because now we would be able to get another attack done. Everything is fine. But the, but the explosive mines are super, super annoying to deal with. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. So, yeah... Maybe we use Bombard or something and make them automatically hit something. Maybe that's the way to go. Mm, we are also losing lots of the trebuchet, but it's fine. We have somewhat a great amount of money still. But the more we kill off these normal units, the more 
Siege weapons we will have to deal with very very soon. So you guys shoot here. Auto shoot by the way. And you shoot here. Now we will need to wait for the next. Actually we might use the Rohan, Rohan alive. I'm not sure how much he was able to rebuild yet. How, we need to wait anyway dude. Because we have no money. The worst thing that you want to do is to kill a castle. You have no money to buy it. Then another AI is going to buy, buy it. because And you will not earn anything from it. So not worth it. Like defeating AI at this stage of the game is less important than, you know, making sure that you have a second castle. That's what I'm trying to say. Right, the gate is almost repaired. Then we can also close it. That's very important. The wall is also being repaired. That's dope. The walls are tanky, but explosive mine is hitting like a truck. That's what it is. More siege weapons are coming in clutch. That's dope. Alright, just keep shooting. Just keep shooting everywhere. Here, maybe? Okay, now we can close the gate. Let's close the gate. Okay. So, Eagle Summon is almost back up. And we have Elven Ally Summon and Rohan Ally Summon. And we have almost the money. So, now is the time to shine. Let's hope that he was not rebuying everything. You know, immediately. That would be the worst case scenario. I heard the explosive mine, by the way. I don't know where he was placing it, to be honest. Let's check. Gondor calls for eight, and Rohan will answer. So, elves, please throw your swords. Gandalf, I need you. Gandalf, you just use lightning sword here. Try to destroy the sister first. Let's call the eagles too. Let's try to destroy this. Uh, castle without the army after that, okay? That's the plan. We killed the Sitter. That's dope. Because now, he can't do anything anymore. That he can't rebuild. That is Saruman. We can try to kill him. As he's using fireball against our eagles. Fire creature. Gandalf is saying, uh, I'm the better wizard. And he definitely is. Even though, uh, you know, Saruman is also buffed now in this version. But again, you, you need to understand that Hold on, let's build some more towers. And don't forget about Gandalf. Just focus on the structures like we do. That's dope, that's nice, that's great. And one more attack. Let's kill the Barista. I don't know what's going on right now. We gotta kill those uh, for weapons. Hey, did we lose... The timer is gone from the Rohirrim and stuff. That's the problem. Okay, we, def we destroyed them. That's good. And now, we need to make sure that we are the ones... Are we going to be forced to buy the... To use the army of the dead here? I hope not. Look how many <laughs> berserkers he has. They're also hurting Gandalf a lot. Oh, the eagles are gone, man. Can I buy this? Please? Okay, nice. I can buy this. Nice. And we gotta close the gate ASAP. There is an end mood coming up, but this time I'm not worried about them because we have now anti-end weapons and those are... See it. The Trevishy. Talking about the Storm Worker, we need to build another Storm Worker to empower this walls too. We have lots of lots of Trevishy now. That's dope and very much needed. Just kill all these ends. No problem. Okay, so now let's build a post sign gate. One of the opponents has been defeated. That's very nice. Now, Gandalf has to support the other castle, but we need to be careful because... Uh, let's take down the Ballista first. I believe this castle is kind of in a good spot, even though we lost the gate. But we have such a cra crazy amount of devastation power around this area. We should be just fine. Uh, don't. Just kill the Ballista. That's all I'm asking you for. Let's build some towers for the safety. Okay, never mind. Don't kill it. Don't die. Just don't die. That's, that's you know, even more important than you taking down the Ballista. Okay, let's build this and also the gate upgrade. Let's build back with Gandalf. Actually, I want to build a well for the sustain. Uh, okay, so you guys keep shooting to the gate all the time. Get inside the jeans, Gandalf, please. We are under attack and you can see that the siege weapons, and that's what I'm trying to tell you all the time, are extremely tanky against anything but like units. Like they are tanky like crazy. Can I target this? No, I can't even target this. With the towers, you see that? That's the problem, huh? Let's build more towers in the meantime. 
Now the second beast has no protection. Please, let's use Cloud Freak. Let's stun them. Why are they not stunned? Okay, they are stunned. That's good. Just pick back Gandalf. Let's repair the gate, please. There we go. Repair this one as well. Amazing. Okay, so basically, let's build some more towers. Demolish this. Oh, we didn't get the reinforced gate yet, oh, but it's fine. It's fine. We have only the Numenorian stonework for the upgrade on the wall, but our gate is still very weak. Does he have. Yeah, we need to kill this with Gandalf. There is like an explosive mine right in front of our gate. Oh, not, there is another end mood. We need more trebuchet. Let's re try to repair. Oh, we are broke, guys. We are broke. Can I actually target like this? No, it's not possible. Okay. More, 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 more. Okay, we are command points. Hey, Gandalf, can you please go out? Like, because it's right in front of the gate, I believe he's kind of confused. You know, he doesn't know what to do. Just get out, get here, and auto attack the explosive mine one single time. That's all you need to do. Okay, guys, so we have almost the next rotation ready with eagles. Uh, almost back up. I'm actually very tempted, very, very tempted to also build some siege weapons on top of the wall. Let's visit blast them first and let's build trebuchet on top of the wall. Okay, you see, visit blast doesn't deal too much damage to them. The gate is getting repaired and he's yet building another end mood here, right? No? Okay. Kill, kill. Okay, that's good. So I'm looking for Gondor. And normally, as you guys know me, I like to go from one side to the other side, but that's an exception. We need to make sure to kill the Gondor first, because he will be the one who is building multiple trebuchet. And oh, that's not Gondor for sure, that's Isengard. We can leave him for now. Let's check the castle in the middle of the map. Gandalf is very, very fast. Let's get a most of Firestone. That is Rohan. And Rohan also can be a great target to this to kill. Maybe we can focus down Rohan. Okay, he's closing the gate, but that's fine. We can just use Army of the Dead here. Actually, killing the Rohan castle is a little bit easier than killing the Gondor and, of course, the evil factions. When the gate is closed like that, you can use your Army of the Dead to break the gate. And once this is done, we will call the Rohirrim. Alright, so now we can go inside. And again, normally, Army of the Dead is going to be the thing which is going to tank now all the damage. He's building multiple towers, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, towers can't hurt the Army of the Dead. That's not possible. Let's use just Lightning Sword. Just take a look into the bases so everything looks fine. We can even close the gate now. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Please, just focus on the structures. Gandalf is taking so much damage. We might be forced to call the Eagles. You know what? Let's not risk it. Just summon them. Just focus on the structures. Level 3 buildings are extremely tanky. But luckily, we have uh, now Eagles and many, many Rohirrim still around. I just want to use the lightning, uh, Easter Light on one of the structures, to be honest. Just to kill it a bit faster. Again, make sure that everything else is looking alright. And this Rohan has been defeated. That's dope. So now, they have only five more to defeat. And then we will be victorious. Okay, we have also now access to more. Oh, look, he almost wanted to make sure to capture this one. But no, 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 sir. I'm not going to let you to do that. So Rohan is good that we defeated them. Because now we won't have to deal with like thousands of ants. Even though I don't know how many Rohans are still left. You know what, let's build farms. They are cheaper. And for that reason, we also need to get the Grand Harvest now. There is a ladder coming. What the heck? We also need to build towers. Oh, these are the eagles. Oh, never mind. These are our eagles still. Okay. Gandalf is almost level 10. Again, against Mordor, that doesn't really do anything. Um, we need to kill this Ballista. And we have also no heal. But we have Cloud Break. Okay. Uh, I'm actually worried that the Saruman might be using Fireball on us. Okay, just peel back now, Gandalf. Gandalf is level... You know what? Let's use Water Power. 
All right. Please don't fireball me, Saruman. All right. Nice. He's, we are lucky. Let's go now inside the jeans. He was almost killing the Citadel. Oh, there is Lords. Oh, we are dead, right? Yeah, we are dead. Please don't kill. He got like three level, three and a half levels from killing our Gandalf. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, boy. I mean, literally our only hero and we lost him. Some work in this. Get some trebuchet on top of the wall. The siege continues. So we need to... I mean, money, money is looking good. That's the only good thing about the situation. But everything else is kind of doomed. Because we have like cooldowns to work with, you know? And also this base is under attack. Um, oh boy. So, yeah. I don't want to use anything defensively whatsoever, you know? Look, there is a ladder. And look at this Berserkers, they are so tanky. He's Visa blasting our tower too. Okay. So, let's place a couple of these now outside. We have too many of them inside. We don't need that many. So, this base should be undestructible. That's what we are aiming for. Okay. But in the meantime, the problem is that we might... Yeah, we need to call the Rohirrim boys in order to be able to kill those Ballistas. Otherwise, our, because we are reviving Gandalf from this one, you know? I don't want to have to revive Gandalf one more time. There is explosive mine coming. So basically now use the Rohirrim, which is kind of meh. That's kind of bad that we have to do that. But it is how it is. Because, you know, as you guys know, I would like to use them to kill... The enemy bases instead, but it's fine. It's fine. Just kill all these siege weapons. That's all you have to do. Let's repair everything. Give them Firestone once again. This is annoying. <laughs> this, I mean, there is one Gondor, and that's what I was saying, you know. There is one Gondor, and the Gondor is so extremely annoying to deal with because of the trebuchet spam, and trebuchet are just a bit more efficient than... Oh my goodness. I think there was another explosive mine. That's what happening here. The pressure. I'm. I'm sure that the yeah, Gondor is here. Okay. So that's our next target, I guess. Keep those boulders ready. Um, we also what losing the trebuchet on top of the wall, which is not the best thing in the world, but it's fine. There they are. Oh, it's not fine. What is going on here? Oh my goodness, man. Um, and we also lost the trebuchet those here. Boulders ready. Let's build another siege, another siege works, but the problem is we are command points kept. So we need to stop recruiting more trebuchet from this one. It's already done. Let's give them all Firestone. And as you can see and tell, this base is in a very, very good spot. But because we have no command points available for more trebuchet, we can't make the other bases as tanky. There is explosive mine right in front of the gate. Okay, let's repair everything. Ah, this ladders, they can't do much. So we have army after that. Elves, eagles, but not the Rohirrim. And without the Rohirrim allies, it's going to be not possible to destroy. Because elves are not dealing too much damage to the structures. And army after that has like a very short duration of time remaining, you know. So please kill this. Oh, what is breaking again? Oh my goodness, man, this spam. Let's close the gate. Uh, Gandalf, can you please take care of this explosive mine right here? There we go. Nice, Gandalf. Appreciate that. Oh my goodness, man. More ballistas, more siege weapons. I'm also pretty tempted to actually destroy the Isengard at the top left side. This way, we have nothing to be worried about. From the other sides, you know? Okay. Please. Okay. So, uh, Rohirrim summon is almost back up. Let's use the Lightning Sword on the Witch King. So he dies faster. Okay. So nice, nice, nice. And yeah, the amount of trebuchet we are losing left and right is pretty tilting and for that reason let's go for this isengard now we have to rohan allies summon ready gondor goes for eight and rohan will answer as you guys know 
So let's ignore everything. Let's not use that here because we would be just wasting lots of time. And time is very important. So we, first of all, like Deja Vu, calling on the army of the dead. Just focus on the structures. Go hit him, doing the same. Gandalf, you can use the um, lightning sword. And then eagle summon. So eagles won't tank too much. And then we also can summon the elves from behind. Lightning sword always the citadel this way. You can make sure that they are not able to replace the buildings as we are killing them. Freezing rain. Uh, uh, that darkness, but it's fine. What is happening here? Let's replace the trebuchet we are losing left and right. And then firestone. Level 3 structures are extremely tanky. Eagles, please keep doing stuff. I think we should be able to defeat this guy as well. But... It's not done quite yet. So let's give them Firestone. Um, so many Rohirrim at one structure. That's nothing. That's something we don't want to happen. Okay. Gandalf, can you please destroy this building? There we go. Nice. Rohan allies are gone, but that's okay. This hard army has been defeated. Now we have four bases in total. That means we have only four opponents to, to go. So let me check. Yeah, we have four opponents to leave, uh, to defeat. And we defeated the Isengard. That means we won't be attacked from the top left side anymore. So this base is in a kind of kind of good spot. I mean, uh, the guy here can attack, but that's fine. So let's close the gates. But just for the worst case scenario, let's build the stone market anyway. Let's build farms because they are cheaper. Even though let's be real, money is not a big problem for now. So we don't need to be worried about money at all. Let's build towers behind. And just be patient for the next rotation of the army of the dead and so on. But in the meantime, we can look for a chance to go for a juicy and beautiful vote of power eventually, right? So hold on a second. Let's get them all firestone. In this space, we can close the gate, right? Yeah. Let's replace the tower, um, the trebuchet. We have lost. What is happening here? It's fine. They can't even reach out to Gandalf. Okay. Looks nice. I mean, this defense is dope. Look at the spike men. They are trying to reach out to us. You know what I'm saying? But no, 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 no. Not today. And I'm also surprised that Rohan was not building too many end moods. Can you please try to destroy this? Or you destroy this? I don't mind. Power guards are tanky, my dude. Look at them invisible. Boom, son. We could have used the army, uh, the water power there, but we don't need to do that. Let's repair this, by the way. It's badly damaged. Now we can buy the Numenorian stonework once again. As well as the reinforced kit. The marketplace can be demolished just to save a spot. Again, money should not be a problem for us at all. They're attacking the outpost. They can do that if they want to. I don't mind that. Is that an army beside the crossbow man? Um, kind of. So you know what? It's time, boys, for the glorious moment of Gandalf. Boom! Nosta Kress. You shall not... Oh, we have also knocked down Boromir. Yeah? Boromir is a bit tanky, though. So Boromir doesn't die that fast. He's a beefy hero, the captain of Gondor, as he's trying... But Gandalf is just overpowering him, of course. There we go, Gandalf. What is happening here? Nothing. I'm actually very sad that the, that the uh, trebuchet are not able to target automatically the nearby structures. That's pretty sad. Okay. Rohan Simon is ready. Alvin Simon is almost ready. Okay. Gandalf can be healed over time a little bit. The gates are reinforced. So basically, I can show you guys. You see the reinforced gate has 4,500 HP. And this one has only 3,000. So you get like 50% value, which is not bad. Like it can make your gate tank like five more shots, you know. Build me an army worthy of Mordor. As we are here in darkness, we know at least we have one more Mordor opponent. We see Trebuchet. That's the Gondor. Let's hope that this is the only Gondor. 
We see crossbow men shooting. I believe these are crossbow men. Let me check. No, these are Gondor archers. Okay, so Gondor. We see Haradrams. Okay. Let's kill this trebuchet and then we move on. Army of the Dead is almost back up. And the problem is, or the thing is, that we will need Army of the Dead to be able to break through the gate of the opponent, you know? Without that, it's not possible. Nice. You see how annoying the Gondor faction is, is AI. And also how tanky the trebuchet are actually against our Gandalf. That's kind of crazy. Not against his auto attacks, though. He can two-shot them, right? Yeah, two-shot them. Like this one. Let's see the damage from Gandalf. Yeah. Dealing crazy amount of damage. <laughs> but more of them are coming, dude. What should we do? Yeah, two hits are still needed for Gandalf. Do not show them fear! Do not show them fear! Okay. What is this? Isengard. Okay, we have also one Isengard, definitely. Okay, Army of the Dead is available. Now we can make a move. So Gondor is going to be our next target. We can also attack without the Army of the Dead. Oh my goodness. Like, how many trebuchet do you have, my friends? Are you gonna close the gate? You should. This guy's like trying to camp even harder. That's kind of the fight. Uh, we need to break the gate first, though, before anything else. Kill all these trebuchet, please, on top of the wall, army of the dead. There we go. More of them. So let's call. Gondo calls for it, and Rohan will answer. So please, eagles, destroy. Oh, what a power is still on cooldown. That's bad. Oh, look, this Gandalf, though. Okay. Right, we killed Gandalf with our Gandalf. I'm afraid that we can't finish this off. Because he has such a great defense still. Let's use... Please, bro, hit him. Just kill the Siege Warriors at least. That's the best thing we can do. Kill the well for the sustain. Hey, don't 1v1 Boromir uh, like that. The Boromir can be sent to the next map. Okay, Gandalf is tanking for whatever reason. And the Barracks level 3 is tankier than expected. So we need to fail with Gandalf at least. Eagles are dying. Gandalf is getting away. That's very good. The blacksmiths are extremely tanky. But we were able to deal great amount of damage. At least we killed the siege works and so on. So now let's heal up a bit. Um, the problem is that I, we can't afford to wait for another army of the dead, you know? That's something I would not like to do. So, as the gate is still broken, I would just wait for the cooldown of the Rohan Arise and go inside one more time. Okay. So we have a great defense still. We can repair this, no problemo. Like, we can repair everything. Literally. Okay. Rohan allies are, you know, reloading quite fast. They will be on the field for 2 minutes, and the cooldown is 4 minutes. So you can summon them very, very frequently. Even though in 99% cases, it's like that the Alvin allies is just much, much better. You full of a took? You full of a took? Okay, Gandalf is taking his revenge from the... Questionable moves of Peregrine took in the films. Darkness. We need to make sure that he's not rebuying or rebuilding the oh look tower guards in formation and stuff. Arches on the on the wall. And look with the darkness, they are so tanky they can even withstand the damage of the Visa Plus of a level 10 hero like Gandalf. But Boromir isn't that lucky. This guy is actually pretty smart to camp like that. At the gate with the tower guards because they cannot go inside with throw hit him. Oh my goodness, did I really miss the it was embarrassing. Sorry for that. Just wait for the visa plus cooldown. We need to kill the tower guards. That's the key. Alright, nice. Let's peel back. Heal up. And by the time we are back to the base of Gondor, we should be able. Is he actually repairing the gate? I don't I don't I don't know. I can't see. I can't see anything. I don't know what's going on. To the castle, quickly! Oh, we have so many trebuchet now. Oh my goodness. I would I would love to move out with them, you know what I'm saying? And show them... What is going on here? 
Nazgûl's are trying desperately to take down our citadel, but we have so many towers now. This is not going to be possible. One does not simply walk into Gondor, Nazgûl. Stand ready. Stand ready. Okay, Rohan and Rise is ready. Go. You know, just go. And water power is almost back up too. So, two minutes cooldown on Lightning Sword, four and a half minutes cooldown from the, on the water power, and Israelite has one minute cooldown. Gondor calls for it. Gondor calls for it, and Rohan will answer. But he was rebuying the Citadel also. Surround, surround, surround. Let's call the Elven allies too. Just kill the buildings, please. That's all I'm asking you for. Just kill the structures. Gandalf, you also help. You are not here to linger. Okay, just focus down the structures, boys. Boromir, you are annoying. Seriously, you are. So I gotta kill you. I'm actually surprised if you come back so fast on the field again. Boromir ki gets killed. Gandalf can kill him, no problem. Let's just cloud break so to stun them. I don't know if he can actually finish this, man. I don't know if you have enough time to finish this. The level 3 structures are just too tanky. Um, I will try, but I I'm... Maybe eagles by the time. Or? Eagles are here now, that's good. Gandalf, even if you die, Gandalf, I don't mind. Just finish off this castle. Eagles are not dealing that much damage. Gandalf is dealing almost no damage to the level 3 archer range. That's like, a, that's like crazy. I am wounded. I am wounded, yeah, you are. Just peel back then. Try try to get away. Maybe Eagles can finish this. Oh, don't run into the top. Oh, no! That was cool. Okay, never mind. He's showing mercy. Please? Can he do it, guys? Can, can he do it? Oh, we need to do it. With the army after that. Okay. We need to summon army after that. That's embarrassing, but... Like, we, we need... You see how tanky the Gondor base is from the AI? That's crazy. Uh, but Army of the Dead was kind of wasted now, to be honest with you. Uh, it is how it is, boys. It is how it is. I believe we have now one Mortar and one Isengard. So, we don't need Army of the Dead to break through anything. That, that's Isengard. I'm assuming this one is Isengard at the top right. So, we can even check that. So let me use the Elven Wood to get some vision. Yeah, that's Isengard. And the other one... Maybe this is Mordor. I don't know what this one is though. We gotta, we gotta take a look into that. So first of all, hey, 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 let's close the gate before they go inside. You see Mordor. Um, one does not walk simply into Gondor. I told you that, didn't I? All right, let's build the Stormworker to make the walls a bit stronger. Let's buy this. And now we can try to see what's going on at the bottom right side. So we have only three more openings left. But in the meantime, we are also getting crushed a little bit. But it's fine. It's really, really, really fine. Did us demolish the towers and build even more trebuchet on top of the wall. Because they are hitting simply like a truck. Oh my goodness. That's not fun. Okay, so I'm assuming... We need to wait for the water of power cooldown. I think that's the best thing we can do. Let's open the gate here. We are not worried about this unit. But in the meantime... Yeah, I think I need to send my Gandalf to the spot. To the spot. There are just too many ballistas for us to deal with, you know? We need to try to kill these ballistas. And the Witch King is coming now too. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's visa blast the ballistas. I'm not going to use water of power definitely around this side. Like, there are two Isengards. We see two different colors, right? So, boom. Nice. Let's use heal for the worst case scenario. Kind of just kill the ballistas. That's all I'm asking you for. Okay. Holy fireball! Are you kidding me, my dude? Wow, 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 wow. Well, that's not good. 
Okay. I mean, at least we kill the ballistas, I guess. But can we defend ourselves, though? That's the question. We need to replace these structures with towers now. Saruman, though, I didn't expect this, to be honest with you guys. Saruman using Fireball, which was not working out in the films, but it's working out in the game, apparently. Now, we need to wait for Gandalf. And again, the revive time when he's level 8 or higher is going to be three and a half minutes. So, that's kind of nuts. Oh, my, oh my goodness, man. We also need to get this upgrade's purchase. We lost every single trebuchet upgrade on top of the wall besides this one. And Saruman is going to die. Don't level up my buildings. Okay, leather, like the siege weapons are coming. Now it's the end game, boys. Now it's the end game. So we are now waiting for the Gandalf and waiting for the army of the dead. We have also more command points. Just spam catapults now, you know what? I just figured out that we have more command points available. The way it works is like you have 250 command points in a one-on-one -on -one, and then it's killing down the more players are involved into a match. So in this one, you had like eight players, but the more you defeat, the less are going to be involved and the more command points you can unlock again up to maximum amount of 250 for the good factions and 500 for the evil factions. Look, the ballistas. Okay, so Eagle Summon is ready and Rohan Summon is ready as well as the Alvin Ally Summon is ready. So, um, please, Firestone. Taking care of these towers like a madman. Make ready, the trebuchet. Make ready for trebuchet. The gate. Are you sure about that? We lost the gate, maybe that's what it is. Build me an army, Worthy of Mordor. Just take down the ballistas. Trebuchet, that's all you have you to do. Two hits are needed, of course, to do that. Let's get in range. Let's get in range. What is going here in the meantime, dude? What is this focus? Gandalf, we need you, bro. Hurry up. I know a wizard is never late, nor is he early, but you are a bit late in this game. We need you. And sorry for Gan sorry, sorry for the miss, Micro Gandalf. I lost you many, many times. Oh my goodness, there was an explosive mine, right? Oh, dude. Uh. Ah, that's triggering, man. Repair, please. We've improved the workshop. Repair everything. Just kill the ballistas. Yeah, that's the that's the goal. Just kill the ballistas. They are so tanky. He got enough back. That's good. Trebuchet, trebuchet. Yeah, let's defeat the Mordor first. I think that's the best bet. Let's kill the ballista. There's a ballista, random ballista in front of our gate, dude. We must stay together. Boom, nice. Okay. So now Gandalf the White. It's time to shine bright like a diamond, my dude. Just make sure that this base is in a safe spot. Okay. So we have now many, many... Uh, Gandalf, we need to defend. Just kill the ballistas. That's all you have to do. Okay, one more ballista left. There is explosive mine. Okay, nice. Can I just ignore them? Just ignore all the orcs too. They can be killed from our towers and so on. What is happening here, dude? Oh my goodness, man. That's that's crazy. Okay, freezing rain all you want. I don't mind. We have no leadership. We don't need leadership. Okay, okay, guys. So... We have fear resistance, bro, from Gandalf. What are you doing? Rohirrim. I need you, Rohirrim. Please don't go everyone on the same spot. We need to split the damage. Stop, stop attacking Nazgul. Nazguls are tanky. When you have no fire or no leadership, or no heroes like Gandalf. Let's call the Eagles. Let's use heal all together. Okay. Elves, please destroy. I mean, the, you see, like, the durability of a level 3 structure base in late game is kind of insane. 
But again, we are only trying... We don't even use our trebuchet to deal damage to the structures, you know? We are only trying to de destroy our opponent by using... Um, summons and Gandalf exclusively. And on the, on the other side, Gandalf, let's be real, doesn't add too much to the table, as we are talking. And uh, the problem is Gandalf doesn't have too much damage against structures, unlike, for example, Aragorn would have. Or even Gimli would have. Okay, just defeat this. Let's use Water of Power. Alright, nice. So, we have only two more opponents to, lead, uh, to, to go, and they are both Isengard, okay? This is as simple as that. One of them is one of them keeps attacking us all the time. Just destroy the ballistas. That's all you really need to do. You don't need to do anything else. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. We did it. But more of them are coming. I believe he has like multiple siege weapons at this point. Okay, there is Isengard coming, trying to come with one Urukai, but you know, one Uruk, but can one Uruk to again such a reckless aid? Uh, let's build a well. Towers, 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 towers. Gandalf, be careful. Don't die. We can build a post on it right here. And then double well. And again, let's build the stone worker to make our walls a bit stronger. Now you might ask why we have three why do we have three um wells? That's a good question. But again, money, as you can see and tell, is not a problem for us. But the ballistas are a problem on the other side. Show them no mercy. I mean, they were actually almost killing the gate in a second. That's why it's so important. Even with the reinforced gates, as you can see, they are still able to break the gate. Isengard is such a great faction when it comes to destroy, like, walls or, or... Like, because it's like in the films, right? Isengard was the one who was breaking the, the Helm's Deep. The Deeping Wall with the Explosive Mine. So they designed Isengard in the Battle for Middle-earth 1 also around that. Like, that you have, like, really strong siege weapons when it comes to take down the enemy structures. Like, that's the structural damage from the Isengard faction, which is the best. Like, there is nothing that can deal as much damage to a structure than Explosive Man. Which also, by the way, is able to one-shot most of the heroes. Like, Gandalf, for example, would get blown up if an Explosive Man is getting boomed next to Gandalf. Okay, Gandalf is full HP now. That's good. Uh, let's get the reinforced gates and also this one. And let's use this pathway to reach out to this castle we have only rohan allies but again we will try to deal at least some damage in the meantime we are losing the gates and more units are coming especially those annoying ballistas for that reason we will let's kill this don't don't take too much damage let's manually click on the uruks as they are trying to take down the ballistas that's a waste of time uh, do not show them fear let's go elves Rohan, Gondor calls for it. So basically, please attack this. Use heal. Uh, you guys, throw the swords. Destroy the citadel. At least deal some damage, you know? Let's use Easter Light to kill Lords. The Siege Force level 3 is tanky, but is it tanky enough? Gandalf is hitting like a truck. That's very good and nice and needed. There is one more Ballista left, but that's fine. Can't do much. Killing the Siege Wars means uh, less Ballistas. They need to be careful with Gandalf, though. There is Saruman who might go for a Visa Plus one, uh, Fireball once again. What is happening in the meantime? Uh, if you are wondering, we are having trouble defending ourselves. So, yes, like, I was expecting to not be able to finish off this castle, but we were able to deal great amount of damage. And especially taking down the Siege Wars is crucial, so... Not too bad at all. We need more siege weapons, boys. More siege weapons to counter his siege weapons. That's what we are forced to do. Okay. Look how many how many we have here, but we can't even use them. Like maybe I can place them in the nah never mind. Let's leave them for now. Let's close the gate. You wanna go inside? I don't think so. No, not the stable. Let's build towers. Can we, can we repair this? Yeah, we can. So now it's a siege wars. You know, Lord of the Rings, the battle for Middle Earth, and the siege wars, pretty much. Okay. I mean, I don't even know why we demolished the uh, uh, Stormworker. 
you know obviously i know because i wanted to build a farm but that's not even needed like we have so much money we have like almost 200,000 resources collected like money should never be a problem for us at this stage of the game just place the siege weapons not not next to each other like that let's split them out split them up a bit a bit i can't even talk yet. sorry it's been a really long game as you can see and tell to be honest i thought this is going to be a bit easier because we are using all the power points from Gondor and they are busted and very very strong but I mean that's not easy at all like it's triggering you know especially Isengard is very very annoying to deal with like maybe if this would be like seven Mordors it would be way way easier because then they have like not the strongest defense and the AI from Mordor seems overall to be weak and they would be wasting all their command points into rec you know recruiting orcs and orc archers while Isengard army is just much much stronger no, just ignore them, Gandalf. And let's go now and finish off this castle. With the eagles and stuff. That's the plan. So, we wanted to just make... There is Balrog summon, okay? Okay, eagles, you guys just focus down the structures. Gandalf, you go for a uh, war of power here. Perfect opportunity for you, my friend. Okay. Gondor goes for eight. Like double siege weapons now. I see you, bro. I see you. Rohirrim. Okay. Nice. EOD is such a great power point, especially in late game. You know, even though we nerfed EOD once again from the cooldown from six minutes to seven minutes, also the army, uh, the movement speed from the army of the dead has been lowered by five which doesn't sound crazy but it's still very effective trust me on that one now uh, the army of the dead is not going to be able to kill your entire army and follow you until your base they will still be able to do that they will still be able to outrun every single infantry unit or hero but they will be moving slightly slower so okay you have only one more opponent to defeat ladies and gentlemen and then we are victorious with the gondor faction against seven other armies on the old brown lands in battle for middle of one on the brand new patch to patch 2.22 because that's what we do and that okay again is the name the patch's name is based on the battle for middle of one that we, it is still being played after many many years even in the year 2022 you know and this again guys is only possible because of your huge spot to the channel we were recently able to reach to 15,000 subscribers and i remember this scene of saruman you know when he was talking with warm tongue and then he was like oh but my lord there is not there is no such a force to revive the battle for middle earth games and saruman is like are you sure about that and they are going out and they see thousands and tens of thousands of people and these people are you guys I don't want to say you are Uruks or something. No, no, no. But you are the one, the reason, the main reason why BFME is still alive. And thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. And I'm so grateful to see people with the same passion about BFME just like I have since many, many years. Also, you know, in other places from all around the world. That's what makes the streaming also uh, making videos for YouTube so great. Oh my goodness, by the way, what is going on here? And what of power is on cooldown? This Isengard, I believe, is the strongest from the AIs. But, you know, we are always leaving the best for the last. Now, we have also more command points available. Now, it's a 1v1. However, we have the upper hand because we have seven bases, you know? And he has only one single castle. What can he do against such a reckless seat? We shall have peace. Do you guys remember this scene? I believe this scene was quite underrated. When Saruman was asking, you know, Tyrion, can we not have peace, you know? And Tyrion was so upset. He was like so mad. He was even willing to forgive Wormtongue because he knew that Wormtongue did only all the stuff that he did because of Saruman. But he was not ready and not willing to forgive Saruman for what he did. And you could see his anger, you know, like his emotions. I'm, I'm, I sound like a nerd, I know, but Lord of the Rings, let's be real, guys, even after so many years, after 20 plus years, it's still the best films trilogy in the entire world. I could be watching that all the time. And I do, by the way, like at least once a year. Recently, I've been watching the 4K version, like the 4K HDR, you know? 
even though i'm not very happy about some details like the colors like it looks like a like a recoloring of the of the film maybe it's just me i don't know you can let me also know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the 4k remaster of lord of the rings let's kill this ballista by pressing x on your keyboard you can split them just kill the ballista nice hey 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 do you guys smell it again i can smell it no star chris oh my goodness we even one shot it we must act quickly gandalf go 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 alvin warriors go 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 you guys two of you guys focus this and gandalf you focus this also army of the dead is almost back up just kill this huge waters but kill this one first it's very important gandalf can you please take care of these ballistas it would be your goal if you are willing to do that of course my friend i don't want to force you because you are the wizard here not me all right nice 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 we are doing phenomenal job by the way yes phenomenal job the uruk pit number one is going to be going to be taken down very very soon i'm actually curious about the easter light damage against structures like slaughterhouse level three i want to find out mm, not the best but again it's he summoned the the balrog but it's fine i don't i'm not i'm down you know i don't mind that the rohirrim uh, duration is like so low it feels like right let's use heal gandalf's damage dude is not really high let's be real like even eagles are not dealing too much damage against level three structures but now we have army of the dead look he's almost dying to the towers also don't die gandalf don't die there is a level three lumber mill imagine gandalf dying to a level three lumber mill i think that would be quite funny took us over one hour and fifth almost ne nearly 15 minutes but every i enjoyed every single minute i hope you guys also enjoyed this gondor with you know gandalf and powerpoints exclusively against seven heart armies on old brown lands and we did it we are victorious as you can see and tell i hope this was enjoyable for you if it was please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future i hope to see you in the next video until then keep hitting like a truck and as always stay beyond standards peace out